Hello everyone, this is Bijan, back with the final video of the female figure sculpture. Here I'm using mineral spirits on the clay that causes it to kind of dissolve a little bit so I can smooth the surface from all the scratches and fingerprints and tool marks and what have you and get a smoother surface. Here I'm using Elmer's glue. One of the reasons for the Elmer's glue is the fact that it would give it a surface protection, a very slight surface protection. Even though it's a soft clay, it doesn't matter. You can put some glue on it and it gives that surface a bit of resistance against rub off, accidental rub off or, you know, scratches and things like that. Plus you can handle it. Uh, better it doesn't it doesn't feel tacky and and gooey and sticky and stuff like that plus it gives it that nice sheen that that uh, specularity that that uh, you know reflection of the highlights when the light hits it you can see the the areas where the light catches the surfaces especially the round surfaces it makes it really beautiful almost like a you know, porcelain or something. So uh, here is the steps that I took. So after finishing sculpting and I'm satisfied with it and I'm going to go through the final process, I can use that rubber spatula to do some smoothing. But one thing I can do is to use this drywall sandpaper or drywall mesh. It's not a paper really. Use that, you know, I cut a little piece off of it. Use that to pull off some of those high spots that are lumps and bumps. I'm not really destroying the sculpture, but I am taking some of those unevenness away. And if it's too, too rough, I use that just a regular mosquito screen or something and soften it up or you can use a pet screen a little bit somewhere between the two version of the screens or meshes and smooth it out. When I'm satisfied with that I use the mineral spirits. I'm using two different type of uh, brushes. One of it has rough bristles and the other one is a little bit softer. So I can use the rough one to kind of start knocking off all those uh, grooves that I made by uh, using the, the screen, sand, paper, mesh, whatever. Now, if I rub my finger on it, uh, I can, you know, get some on my finger because it's, it's wet. I have to let it dry up. Even on the side, if I go a little bit heavier scrape on it, I get some clay on my hand. But uh, what I'm going to do is use uh, Elmer's glue. And Elmer's glue is a very, very interesting glue. I, I love it because it dries transparent. If you put a, you know, a thin layer on it, you put that on with a brush. At first, it, when it's wet, it looks like it's white and you say, oh my God, it's going to change the color of it. Now it's not gray or whatever. Don't worry. Once it dries up, it looks clear. Now you got a nice surface, which is not tacky. It's nice and smooth. 
you can rub your finger on and nothing gets on your finger. The other one, the other side is kind of sticky and tacky and gooey and clammy, but this side is nice, clean, soft. Skipping. I can use my finger and kind of poke it and that leaves uh, dents in there. So it's not, you know, hard like glass or something, but you just have to be a little bit careful about that kind of stuff. You can, you can actually poke it, but you get that glossiness and, and shimmer. And here you can see it on the, on the sculpture, how beautiful it gets. I add some glue to the contact points and, and that does a good job. You can see that it's pretty stable. I can even turn it over and nothing happens. So, uh, I mean, you can knock it off if you, <laughs> if you try hard, but good enough. Yeah. Right. So that was the last video of this series. Until next time, cheers.